Microsoft Planner is a simple web-based tool that's bundled with Office 365. And that makes it the perfect tool to get started planning with your team in Teams. So you've had a great whiteboard conversation with your team, just like the one that we showed in our last video. You've detailed out the big picture story in that session, and you've answered important questions about what needs to happen. But now you need to get down to work and create the tasks that need to be done and assign them. In any channel in your team, you can add a tab with a planner board. As you walk through the process of adding a new planner tab, think about how you currently plan with your team. Are you trying to coordinate tasks by email? Lots of email. Or do you have a spreadsheet that everyone logs into to update every day? Maybe you're sharing a OneNote notebook with your team. Or maybe you're doing it all on paper. When you add a planner tab in Teams, and the app you're looking for here is called Tasks by Planner and To Do, by the way, you can create a new plan or you can choose an existing one to show in the tab. The plan that you create is automatically shared with each member of the team. If someone leaves the team, well, they'll no longer have access to the plan. And if you add a new member to the team, well, they automatically get added to the planning board. Great. Now that you have a plan sitting inside of your team's channel, it's time to get to work creating tasks. Each new task can have a start and an end date, a progress indicator, categories or labels, a series of steps or subtasks, file attachments or links, comments and assignments, just to name a few. When you go to assign a task, you'll see a pre-populated list of all of the members of your team, and any member of the team can be assigned to a task. They can also add and update tasks too. Tasks in Planner sit within buckets. You can create new buckets, and you can use this default view to see an overview of the tasks sitting within each bucket. Drag and drop a task to move it into a new bucket. Think of it like a digital Kanban board. The buckets are like workflow categories. If you'd like to see a different view of the plan, pivot the view using the Group By dropdown to show tasks by assignment, or tasks by progress, or tasks by due date. And if you want to do even more with Planner, you can open it directly in a web browser by clicking on the Planner tab's drop down and selecting Go to Website. Microsoft Planner is not the only planning tool that you can use within Microsoft Teams. There are dozens of third party options like Asana, Basecamp, Jira, and Trello, just to name a few of the planning tools that you might already be using. You can integrate many third party apps right into your Teams channels, just like Microsoft Planner. But what I love about Microsoft Planner is that it's easy to use, it works directly with Teams, and it's so simple to get started with. It also integrates directly with Microsoft To Do, your personal task management tool in Office 365. And that's something that we'll take a look at in our next video. If your team is still trying to manage tasks on paper, by emails, or by spreadsheet, then it's time to get up to speed on Planner in Teams. Give it a go with your team, and let us know how you go in the comments below. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so that you can easily find our next Teams video on managing your personal tasks.